Can everybody walk through today's video? In today's video on the sloppy rebuild of the Honda EU 2000i. Before I start assembling everything, I'm going to do a leak down test. And I'm going to use this OTC cylinder leak down test that I've owned for a number of years. And this is going to tell me if my valves are seated good. Obviously the piston rings are just put in so they're not seated. So there may be some leakage. But this will kind of tell me where the engine is sitting. If I have big time leakage coming out the valves or whatever we got to figure that out before we waste a whole bunch of time to reassemble it and figure out we're going to have some major issues so what, how this cylinder leak down test works is i put this hose into the spark plug hole and i use my air compressor over there plug it into here the other end of that hose goes into here and then i turn this dial and then the pressure should be pretty close and then there's a chart right here that's going to tell us what could possibly be wrong. Okay, spin that in. Somewhat tight. Plug it into the tester here. So like I said, you're gonna give this up to about 100 PSI of air. Under no circumstances do you hold the flywheel to prevent it from rolling over because that's not gonna end well if it decides to spin over. You're gonna injure yourself, trust me. The key is just to get the cylinder in that magic spot where the air is just not going to push it down. So I'm going to hook up the air pressure now and we're going to start cranking up the pressure and hopefully get a good reading. Like I said, this will probably take a couple times. Actually, the cylinder values are, are actually really good. I took it up to 80. So you can see right there in the values, 80 and just like 79, 78. I am really satisfied with that. We got a good seal inside that cylinder block. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. The cylinder leak down test proved to me that this engine is solid. The valves are seating. We're not getting major air past the rings. We're looking good. So now we can continue with the final assembly. And if you just came to this video to see what's all going on, I am going to test all the components uh, before we put it back together. So if you're having trouble with your Honda, no power, not starting, whatever, I should have pretty much every video to troubleshoot every part on the Honda EU 2000i generator. Anyways, if you like this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.